All right, hey guys, Chris Fiore here again with Fiore's Fishing. Um, we're going to go to Stonewall Jackson Lake here. We had one more tournament on the Chickahominy for a Region 8 Open, and uh, I mean, I didn't do too well there. I only caught maybe, uh, I think, like seven pounds or something. I was more focused on the Semi National, which I'd qualified through doing the Mr. Bass tournament on uh, Kerr Lake. And so I was up there doing most of my practice. But Stonewall Jackson Lake, you know, the first day of tournament or first day of practice, I went up there and I caught, I, I had a 20 pound bag in the first two hours of that tournament. And I thought, I thought it was going to be a great, I was like, man, it's going to be a slug fest out here. It was going to be a lot of fish. Well, it, it wasn't that way. The next couple days of practice, I had caught maybe a couple little fish and everything, but I ran back to one of my spots and first cast in there I caught about a five pounder and I was like okay I was on I figured I was on to something and when we came back for the tournament it was the same deal you know I, I didn't fish any of my three little spots that I had there at Stonewall Jackson I just I left them alone and uh, first day of tournament first first one first spot I pull up to I ended up catching a four pounder in practice you know we had caught maybe like one or two big ones but everything else was small or not getting bit at all I mean if you look at the weights of the tournament a seven pound bag was a good day out there and I had three little areas three little coverts that you could idle back through to get to these back feeder areas and in these back feeder areas and the coverts it's 20 feet deep out in front but up in the cover it's like seven feet deep but the fish were positioned out front on the main lake chasing bait up and into the tunnels and what I was doing there is I was throwing the Z-Man chatterbait half I always throw a half ounce I get a faster fall I can fish it fast if I need to I can fish it slow and that's why I throw it and the, I throw it with a trailer and the only trailer I throw is a is a white fluke I don't I don't throw crawfish trailers or anything like that it's just either white fluke green fluke I, I only throw white and green pumpkin I have all the other colors I don't I never seem to have to throw them. I always can get bit and get a lot of bites on these. But what I was doing is throwing these into, throwing it into these coverts as far back up at, in them as I could. And the fish would be in there and they'd be pinning the bait up against the side. So I'd have to throw it up against the wall on the left, on the right. I would not get bit if I was pulling it through the middle. And I would have to slow roll it. I mean, I would let it sink to the bottom and just reel it back as deadly slow I mean as slow as possible I don't even think the bait was vibrating half the time and that's when they would load up on it and during practice I caught a six pounder a four pounder and a three pounder and a five pounder all in these three little coverts during the tournament I caught three three of my main fish two of my main fish in these coverts um, there are other people fishing them too but they just weren't doing exactly what I was doing um, and I was able to trigger those bigger bites. I, I, I caught a, I caught my two I caught two 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 of my three biggest fish doing this. Um, my biggest fish actually came throwing the Z-Man chatterbait and slow rolling in about 10 feet deep, over 25 feet of water, and I had one come up and hit it. And even the fish I caught in the tunnels, I mean they all they all had to be fizz. These fish were coming up from deep and chasing bait and going straight back down, but. That was the ticket there at Stonewall Jackson, the semi-national championship. And then also, again, two of my main fit, keeper fish, too, that, you know, helped me fill out, you know, I never, I never caught a limit, three fish a day, but helped me fill out my bag was this worm again. And I was throwing this worm around hard bottom. I was, it was a lot of standing timber in there. And what I found was the standing timber in there that had the lower branches closest to the bottom is where I'd catch most of my fish. And I threw this worm. I had a spot where I caught one in practice two weeks prior, one in practice leading up to the tournament. And I went back there and I caught two more throwing this worm. And one of them was about a three pounder on the last day, which really, you know, helped seal my seal my victory there at the semi national. Ended up catching like 19 pounds, winning by five pounds. And I mean, it shows you, it shows you how tough the fishing was. Cause and I knew the size of fish that were in there, and I knew anyone could come in with a big bag I never let up that was the thing like my co-angler on the back of the boat goes man I think that fish just sealed the deal but I never I never thought I had it won um, I just I fished till the last second doing everything I can and 
fortunate enough that it was enough, and that qualified me for the national championship next year for uh, the TBF and FLW. Um, we don't know what lake it's on yet. I'm waiting for them to let us know. And then, I mean, also you got all this stuff going on with FLW and MLF now. So, I mean... I don't know if I win a national championship, do I fish in the Forest Wood Cup or do I fish in the Angler of the Year tournament? I don't I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure all this out. But so look for me at the TBF National Championship. And if you like this video guys and these other videos I've posted, I'll share more tips and tricks on what I've been doing and how I've been going about my how I've been going about catching my fish. And if you like this video, follow me at Fiori. Fiori Fishing on Facebook, um, also Fiori underscore Fishing on Instagram, and you can also follow me at Chris Fiori just on Facebook. Shoot me a friend request. But I, I look forward to you know making more videos, and I look forward to fishing a lot more tournaments and getting more, getting a lot more content out there for you guys. But I appreciate it.